Yo, what's going on guys? We've got something fantastic to show you today, and that is this. That is one piece of acrylic. As you can see, it's just one piece, and we've actually managed to paint it three different colors. It's not a sticker, it's not UV printed, that we've actually painted ourselves. It's a very simple process to do. Stick around and we'll show you exactly how it's done. All right then, so let's get into this. For this, you are gonna need a sheet of clear acrylic. So I've got your, it's roughly an A4 sheet of clear acrylic. As you can see, it looks white because it's still got the backing on both sides. Now you'll know some sheets come with like a brown paper backing, but these ones are just a, uh, just like a thin film which is stuck on. But you are gonna wanna make sure your backing is still on your sheet for this to work. As long as you've got a sheet of this then, we'll move over to the laser, we'll pop him in, and we're gonna load up, first of all, a very simple file with a couple of shapes. So before you do get into doing the actual design on this sheet, do you wanna figure out the best parameters to use your laser to be able to cut through this backing without going too deep on the acrylic? So I'm gonna be using my CO2 machine, which is a 40, I think it's like a 35, 40 watt tube. And with that, I'm gonna be using 6% power, and the speed is gonna be 50 millimeters a second. So we'll load up the design now. It looks like it's just gonna be a couple of simple shapes just to make sure we are going at the right speed and power. And then we'll peel them back. We'll have a look at doing them. And then we'll move on to the next steps to show you why we can just do one color with these. Once we're happy with them, we'll have a look at doing two colors. And again, once we are happy with that, we'll have a look into doing the final one with all three colors. Like I said, you can do as many colors as you want. Just take you a little bit longer, that's all. So let's go to the laser now and we'll cut out our simple shapes ready to go. So as you can see guys, I'm just putting my sheet of acrylic in there now. Doesn't matter where you put it, you're gonna do all the cuts in one go. So you haven't gonna take it out, do anything with it and put it back in. And if I can show you there, um, so 6% power at 50 millimeters a second, I'm gonna be using on my machine, which is very quick and very low power. So I'm just gonna run that now. And then once we're done, we'll go on to the next steps. So if I show you there, so we've got a square, a circle, and then the word subscribe. A little hint for you guys, if you haven't already, down below, click the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And like I said, you know, it's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything to do. And you can unsubscribe any time you want, but I guarantee you won't, because as far as I'm aware, I'm releasing fantastic content that you all guys can learn something at home with, especially if you've got like laser cuts and stuff like that as well. All right, so you will notice as well, the word subscribe is actually backwards. The reason is any designs you want to do, you do want to flip them over because this is gonna be done on the back. Anything we do on the next steps will be done on the back and it'll be shown through the front. So before we do move on to these next steps, anyway guys, you do wanna check that the cuts are complete. Sometimes, I don't know if you'll focus in on that, but sometimes you'll see it hasn't actually gone all the way through the back end. And if you try and pull it up, it's gonna, it's gonna rip up the rest of it and you don't want that to happen. You just want this one bit of shape to come up because I can just weed it in there. I've got this little weeding tool here. It's not focusing on that. There we go. And it's just like a little spike tip. You don't need one of these. You can do it with your finger. You can do it with like a little Stanley knife. I just find it a lot easier with this. But I can pull this shape up here. Okay, and I know that's cut all the way through. So I can just pinch that and pull that off. All right, so before we do any of the other shapes, I'm gonna do each one of these a different color. Leaving that, leaving the rest of it on, I'm just peeling that bit off. We're gonna go outside now and we're gonna paint this with spray paint. All right, so here, this is my little uh, paint boot I use that's outside. So again, we've got just our square where we've cut that out and we've peeled the back in a way. So with this, I'm gonna spray it. So before you put any color on it, I'm gonna put a clear lacquer on it. Just a cheap clear lacquer, which I'm just gonna put over the top. Now you don't actually need to use that. You can do the colors without doing it because the back end stuck down so well, you shouldn't have any problems with it anyway, because it should, any paint or anything shouldn't bleed under that. As long as you cut it all the way through and you haven't peeled up any bits you weren't supposed to, should be fine. Uh, so with this square then, I think we're just gonna go with a cheap black matte paint. A very light coat there. Let's see if you can see that. You can see that's to the other side of the back end. We're not gonna take this side off yet. So we'll let that dry a couple of seconds and we'll put another, another coat on top and let that dry. All right, so there we go. We've done two very light coats of the black there. 
now we're ready to do the next bit. So we're going to weed out the circle and we're also going to weed out the... We'll do the outside, as you can see on the subscribe. I've done a cut around the outside. I'm going to do that as well. So again, we're just going to peel the circle away because the circle now, this bit, and then the outside of the subscribe logo. See how easy that pulls away? Because I've done it at just the right power and speed, it shouldn't have any problem pulling up any of the other letters there. If you find just pulling up other bits, increase your power or decrease the speed you're cutting at. Back outside and then we'll do this in red. All right, so again, we're gonna go with our very light coat of the clear lacquer first. Let that dry for like two or three minutes. It doesn't need to be fully dry, just fine. As long as it gets to like the stage of like tackiness, you shouldn't have any problems then. All right, so that's been drying for about two or three minutes. It's gonna go over the top of the red. Again, light coats, do lighter coats, and obviously do more of them if needs be. Sometimes you can get away with just doing one if it is a dark color, but you'll see that you can probably go a little bit darker on that. But I'll let that dry again for a couple of minutes. And I'll put a second coat on. What we're gonna do now with the subscribe bits, we're gonna make this two colors. So the subscribed letters, again, they're cut out. So I'm gonna weed them out with our little weeding tool again with this. And then we're gonna put black over the top. All right, hopefully you can see this a little bit better. I've zoomed in. So as I pull up these letters now, and I'm trying to do this without scratching any of the red paint work. So just use your tool where you know the, the back end still is. And it sh you should see it coming up. Make sure I try and remove them at the same time. It's harder to do. I'm trying not to get my head in the shot at the same time of doing this, but when you do it, get right in there and have a look. Because you want to make sure you don't, as I said, scratch any of the other paint off. But there you go. You can see it kind of looks like the Supreme logo, but it's not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this back outside, and then we're going to do another light pass of the clear lacquer, and then a pass of the black paint over the top. So let's go outside, and then we'll paint these. Right, back outside again with the piece. Same piece with the subscribe button. So again, I've got my cheap clear lacquer. Very light coats over the top. Again, we'll give that five, 10 minutes to dry. So it's quite tacky. And then we'll go over with the black paint then. All right, yeah, so it's been a couple of minutes. Got our black paint now. Again, black's a lot darker, so you can do your coats a lot lighter. I'm just going to do a very light coat over this. Just very light. Again, I'll give that a couple of minutes to dry and I'll do, I'll do another coat over the top just to make sure we've got coverage over everything then as well. It's still not fully dry, still a little bit tacky. It's been about 10, 15 minutes, but it's because I'm using car paint, that stuff can take a little bit longer to cure. So if you are doing your own projects, make sure that you do wait for it to fully cure before you do anything with it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the backing off just around that shape. So I'm just gonna get my Stanley. Usually you'd use your laser cutter to obviously cut the shape out and then it's all done and dandy there. But for this, I'm just showing you what it's gonna look like. So if we peel this back in bit off first, How good does that look? <laughs> it looks like Mars. But there we go, yeah. Doesn't look like anything special at the moment, I know. But if we pull the front off now, and then you'll see exactly what the colors look like. But yeah, there we go. That would have looked a lot better with white, but I was just showing you two colors, red and black, just for now to see how it works. But if we can zoom in there, you can, that looks absolutely amazing. Looks spot on. All right then, so I've got the same piece of acrylic put in there now. I've loaded another design file up, which I will be putting just here. We're gonna run just the outline cut of everything, and then we're gonna go through the exact same process. For this, we're gonna do three different colors with the same process, doing one color, weeding it, another color, weeding that, and then we're just gonna cover the whole bit in one whole color, and that'll just seal it as one object then. And then once we're happy, we can cut it all out as one shape, 
and then we can use that then as an actual physical item that's just got multicolored printed on the back. All right, so we've got the design ready. Again, we're going 6% power on the CO2 and at 50 millimeters per second. So we're gonna run that now very quick. It should only take a couple of seconds. Happy with the red now, so the red's nearly dried. Again, it's been drying for about 10, 15 minutes. So now I'm going to do the gold next. I try and do it, so I'll try and leave like anything like black to be the last color I put over the top. So I like it to be completely filled in, completely covered in black. Because even if I didn't do black as the first one, once it's all done, I'd go over the back with black anyway, just to finish it all off. And uh, yeah, so I might as well just do it as the last color. But yeah, for now it's gonna be the gold. So now I just need to carefully weed those bits out. And again, guys, if you do want access to this file, it's available for all my Patreons to download. I've also put some map files as well. I don't know if any of you have seen them. I'll put a picture on the front screen now. But yeah, I've done a couple of layered map files. I've been putting them on my on my Patreon as well. So if you'd be interested to get them dirt cheap, just sign up as a Patreon. And also you'll have access to download them as well. But yep, that's up to you. Uh, these are the very popular, those files. So, you know, you can... The people sell them on Etsy for like bloody... Oh, God knows how much. It's a lot of money where people sell them for on Etsy, right? But, but yeah, less than a cup of coffee you can get uh, access to loads of them. That's if you order. Not gonna force you. And let us take this up as well. I probably should have done an easier logo, but it is what it is today. Yeah, guys, once again, if you are enjoying the video, definitely give it a thumbs up because it does help me. Any interaction you guys have with the video helps me out loads because it shows YouTube that you are actually enjoying the content. And it'll be pushed out to more people. Uh, I'm going to have that as black. That's all going to be black. I'll do this outer one in gold. There's something really satisfying about that. I mean, that doesn't look too bad as it is at the moment, actually. I quite like that. I think if we'd done this just black and red, it would look really nice on clear acrylic. I might do that in the future. <laughs> right. Um, we're going to go back outside, we're going to paint this gold, and then we're going to uh, we're going to come back and do the black. Again, we're going to go with a clear lacquer first. And then with our lovely gold shimmer. This stuff is absolutely terrible. The coverage on is really bad. So I'm probably going to have to do about three or four really thin coats to get it to work properly. Yeah. Don't cheap out in your paints like I did, but £1.39. <laughs> so red and gold have been done. That's looking real good so far. So now we just need to weed the black out. Of course, try and remember which one the black parts are, but again, let's get a logo up on my phone. So it's mainly the letters, these little hooks, and like the middle, that's fine. So again, just taking your time with all this. A smaller letter in down there, which is gonna be a bit of a nightmare to get in there, but. Hopefully we should be able to take off this one big bit first because the majority of everything is connected to that. 
And let's use the horse as well. The last bit is this lettering in here. So if you ever try this, don't recommend anything this small because it can be an absolute pain to get it all off. There you go, we live and learn, eh? All right, that is all of it, I believe. I'm gonna go back outside, the same as I always do. Just gonna put the black paint on and then we'll come back. That's our third and final color put on. So that's the black. So I put the black on fairly heavy. So there's two, two coats. There's one, you know, one normal coat I would do. And then the second coat I put it on quite heavy. It's not still not fully dried yet, but even looking at the back of that, that just looks, that looks sexy as I reckon in my eyes. Like I'd be happy just with that. But the reveal is now just peeling the front off and seeing how that looks and seeing if it actually looks like it's supposed to look. If this looks as it's supposed to look guys, you've got to subscribe. All right. So now we just got to peel the end off here. Oh, look at that already. Oh guys, it's looking fantastic already. Oh my God. Look at that. That is class. I am. I don't really want to put it down yet because I don't know if the back is dry enough. Let me just rest down on some duct tape and have a look at that. Honestly, that is amazing. I knew it was going to turn out good because I've I've practiced this already. I've done a couple of goes, but none of them looked as good as this. So let me show you my practice goes. So that one, which I reckon looks absolutely fantastic. Anyway, you know if Porsche want to get in touch, you know if they need some awards done and stuff, I'm here. Um, we did one here. This one was just, I messed this one up, but let's have a look at that. That's all right. I could have just done black on that, so black and red. I think that would have looked all right as well. And that was my first attempt. Again, you can see everything's, everything's not aligned there. So after, you know, trial and error, I realized what I was doing wrong. So I sorted that out. This was another piece of scrap. I just realized I've completely missed something there. You see those white bits? They're supposed to be black. Be back now. Uh, right. uh, let's pretend that never happened. We'll cut that bit out. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe I did that, to be honest with you. I think I was just rushing, see, because uh, I've been messing around with this. A uh, couple of days now, trying to get it to work properly. I'm filming the video I just wanted to get it done and get it out so uh so yeah my bad sorry guys but yeah there we go it is done I, as I was as I was saying yeah lots of trial and error with this one I uh on the back as I was coming back from painting I scratched it and then um I tried filming him with lots of paint so yeah thin coats guys thin coats works because it ruined it it ripped that bit off a lot went wrong there I can't remember what went wrong with this one but something did, but I like that anyway. Oh, hello. A multi-layered one, how about that? But yeah, as I said, I've lost a trial and error, guys, messing around with it. So I could give you something which, you know, would say I've got a final product there. And honestly, it looks absolutely stunning. I am over the moon with how well that's turned out. Bit of a pain with the design, not the best one to try, but I did want to show you guys, you know, you know, the type of stuff you can do with this. But yeah, guys, honestly, give this a go. It's such an easy procedure to actually try and do with your acrylic. Just with your backing, just don't take the backing off. Just engrave it, weed it out, and paint it. Honestly, it's so easy and so much fun. But yeah, there we go, guys. Do hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you are new here and you've enjoyed the video, subscribe, click the thumbs up button. If you've made it to the end, thank you very much. You guys are absolutely awesome. Again, check out my Patreon. I've got a couple of cracking designs on there at the moment you know, with maps and stuff. This file will be on there as well if you just want to download it and use it. But yeah, I can't stop looking at it. This is amazing. It really is.